And we're back, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. And today, let's review Bloodhound, an old-school first-person shooter inspired by the likes of Doom and Painkiller. Uh, those are the games that came to mind when I played Bloodhound. If it had a story, I could not tell you about it. It's almost non-existent. So what do you get? You get a fairly generic-looking first-person a shooter and that's one of my biggest gripes with this game is that it doesn't set itself apart from others in the genre it doesn't have a distinct look and feel still uh, it, it's still a, a fast-paced fun first-person shooter as you work your way through these pretty linear corridors and open areas uh, that range in in theme and look as well so the whole thing feels a bit thrown together and it lacks certain certain consistency but on the flip side there's a good variety of, of levels and that sort of breaks the the dullness of uh, of the first person shooter so what typically happens is that you go through these corridors and you fight your way through these areas and then that area gets closed off uh, for a short time until you dispose of all the enemies uh, there. So you basically enter a horde mode uh, most of the time in this game. I guess it makes sense because it makes the whole thing sort of frantic and fast paced and you have to, to run around and shoot enemies as they come at you, uh, but it gets a bit formalistic as well. I have to say some thoughts went into making these enemies look different. Uh, there are a bunch of cultists and demons in various shapes and forms. So that's kind of fun. Uh, some are stationary, some will charge at you relentlessly. So you have to be running around and not to get killed. The shooting is actually not that bad. Beside the standard pistol and shotgun uh, that have some good feedback and some good sound effects. There are others. Uh, some more imaginative weapons like the crossbow that you can shoot explosive uh, bolts and that sort of stuff so it can be a lot of fun other weapons feel kind of weak and don't do much uh, there's some upgrades to be found throughout the levels uh, like uh, an inject injector that will slow down time for a short time or uh, do extra damage or you'll have more health and there's this heavy metal soundtrack that plays when, when there are enemies. And so it, 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 it gets frantic, it gets exciting, it gets uh, you, your your veins pumping. Uh, at some point, the shooting does get a little bit repetitive, but then the game sort of throws in a boss fight, and that serves as a nice distraction. I actually prefer to play this game uh, on easy, because sometimes you get to one-shot enemies, and they will just splatter into gory masses, which is kind of fun uh, to do. You know, overall, it's not half that bad, this game. Again, as I said, it can be frantic, it can be brutal. Uh, although I just wish it had more of a distinct look, uh, it had more consistency in the level design. That would have made this game even better. As it stands, it's kind of an average first-person shooter, but there's some fun to be had here. So that's what I think of Bloodhound. Let me know what you think, and see you in the next video.